Um, so uh, I was going to talk to you today about my journey with open source, which later on this, uh, resulted on my involvement with my with Fedora. I joined open source uh, back in 2016. I was a student uh, back then. And so there is this open source community in my city where we foster all sorts of open source projects uh, other than Fedora, like Wikimedia projects and Mozilla projects and LibreOffice and any other small personal project that someone might have and want to contribute to a broader community. And the picture you're seeing is a group picture from a conference that we organize every year in May. And a friend of mine talked to me and asked me if I could volunteer. At the time, I had no idea what this was about. So I decided to um, give it a try, and I became a volunteer. And during the conference, I met many Fedorians. Uh, if you were there in 2016, just let me know. I had no idea what the project was about, but I wanted to be part of a Linux community. And that Linux community that happened to be there was Fedora. So it was, if there was another community there, I would have probably joined that one. So if like OpenSUSE was there, I would have been an OpenSUSE contributor now. Uh, the thing is that when I was a student, everybody was afraid of Linux and yeah. <laughs> Everyone was super afraid of Linux, thinking of the terminal, and you have to do anything with commands. Uh, I'm glad I'm here too, Marie. So I decided, you know, to challenge myself and get into this Twilight Zone. Uh, so at first I installed it and tried to play around with it. And coming from a Windows background, I started using Fedora with Cinnamon, not yet GNOME. Uh, because GNOME was quite different from the Windows setup that I was used to. So in order to get a little bit more familiar, familiar for about six months, I was using Cinnamon uh, to, to get myself into the, um, the Linux world. And I was barely using the terminal, which was very disappointing because I thought that the second that I will, I will install Linux, I will be a terminal, you know, magician and everything. Turned out it wasn't like this. There is a good interface. Um, so next slide. <laughs> so this was my first release party in July 2016. Uh, I remember that I was at the beach that, uh, earlier prior to the, to the release party, and I came only for that. I went back. Um, I had no idea what these people were talking about, but it seemed so nice. And I think this was a day or the week that I installed Dora on my computer too. So yeah, the picture seems very blurry and small. But... Yes, Yana is there too. Oh, weekend. So I would briefly would like to talk to you about what. I have been doing so far with the Fedora project. Uh, so the first thing that I did, as I said, I was a student back then, so my technical knowledge was very minimum. So I started doing localizations. Yeah, I started doing localization. I even created my fast account during a conference where two Fedora ambassadors were having presentations. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I created it there, so that was the very first thing I did. And localization was actually some of the first events that I started organizing on my own. Uh, just give me one second. I will open the presentation on a on my phone because I can barely see the screen because the text is very small. I have done install fest, so we, as I said, in my community, we've been organizing events, and I have also helped other people, uh, other people install Fedora on their computers. And sometimes, where the machines are pretty old, uh, you get to face many um, difficulties on the installation part. And sometimes GNOME, which is a default um, desktop environment, sometimes doesn't work because it it requires more resources. So, yeah, that was one of the most challenging uh, parts as a contributor. 
Uh, I have organized events, either small or larger. And I think it is very important to be part of a community, either than organizing, but also attending events like this one. Uh, uh, if you're a beginner, this is the best place to get started because you also meet new people and um, you get to know where or whom to ask in case you have a, a question. I have been part of, uh, of booths, either small one, smaller ones or bigger ones like POSDEM, for example. It's probably the, the largest open source event happening in Europe. But, I mean, it's happening in Europe, but it collects people from all over the world. We're talking about thousands of people, so um, POSDEM is huge. I've held presentations um, like this one or a smaller one. I have also held uh, presentations at my school when I was at my master's. Uh, I remember that we had an assignment to fulfill in CentOS and I managed to convince my professor to do it in Fedora server. And everyone hated me. <laughs> so, because I changed it in the middle of the assignments. And I have also helped uh, other people with anything that I could, but can I change? Marie? Right, but why do this? So this is a question I get uh, from a lot of people who I spend my spare time and my free time doing this. Uh, for me, it is very important, the, the sense of belonging. I mean, as humans, we are social creatures and we like being among, among others and people who are the same, um, at a certain criteria, the same with us. So I really love the fact that I'm here. We are 20 people in this session right now and and we, you're all chatting. So it's, it's great to have people with the same thoughts and interests and everything as you. Uh, you can develop your skills further. As I said, I saw getting into a Linux community as a challenge to myself because I thought that I would become like a, I don't know, a hacker, this this stereotype that there, there's a guy in front of a in screen in a dark room with a hoodie. Yeah, I thought I was gonna become something like that. Of course, you get to develop your, your skills further and you get to know what you can do but it's not, um, you should not go by the stereotypes that exist out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and of course, with Fedora, the, 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 the thing that it is that you get to experience the very latest technologies. I mean, the, the, the short release cycle for many people, this is a problem because they have to upgrade. This is why I hear all the time, yes, uh, it might require some some time to do the upgrade uh, every now and then, but I really think that it's really nice that we get to um, to experience what latest what is latest out there. And of course, other than your technical skills, I forgot to mention you get to develop. No, you can change it. It's okay. Uh, you get to develop further your social skills. So. As tech people, there is this stereotype that we are not the most social and, you know, I don't know. I am not the most social person on earth, but still this is something that I enjoy doing. So by attending events and being in the same room with so many different people, with so many different backgrounds, with so many different cultures, so many different religions, so many different outfits. So our outfit indicates actually um, a lot of from our culture, something that might be non acceptable for my culture. It might be okay from an, another person. And this develops further our mentality on, uh, you know, communicating with other people, which might be very useful on our day to day life, other than the, uh, the project. So, where is then today in 2020 in the virtual 2020 where everything is going? Um, from our homes, I I read the, um, the revamp announcement in case you have not checked it yet in July um, uh, on the Mindshare repo. 
And I am very happy that Marie actually suggested me to co-lead this effort. I was planning to apply as a volunteer, <laughs> and she, but then I saw that I was proposed to become one of the co-leads. So together with Sumantra, which is based in India, and Marie, uh, I am helping revamp the ambassadors program. Uh, I think this is a, a thing that had to be done. The ambassadors program is one of the oldest ones that exists within the Fedora project. And it has been successful for many years and a lot of people are part of it, but I think it was time for a change. And I always see changes as a good thing to happen. If you would like to discuss more on the reform process, I am here. You can ping me on Telegram or via email with my fast email. And yeah, this is what I've been doing pretty much so far. So thank you very much. This was a short presentation about me as a Fedorian. Thank you. That was great. Um, thank you. Everyone can put questions in the chat. I have questions. Oh my God, why? <laughs> How do people get involved in the community outreach revamp? Oh, so um, in the outreach, we have a repo, uh, an issue, sorry, an issue on the Mindshare repo on, um, on Pagure. I, I pronounce it as Pagure. Everyone does it. Everyone pronounces it differently. differently. Did you so, know? This is my version of the story. This is my version of Pagure. Sorry? Well, Pigure is a French word that means snail. So it should be Pajour. It should probably be Pajour. I don't know. Maybe someone yeah. else knows. <laughs> anyway, keep going. I'm going to get a link for you. Yeah, great. So we have this uh, repo for everyone who would like to, um, to join us. We also have a Telegram group chat. Yep, that repo uh, for uh, faster communication if anyone wants to join us. We meet, we have bi weekly week meetings. Um, it was yesterday, and the next one will be in two weeks. Cool. Yep. Uh, we are putting here the board with tasks on the board. So if everyone wants to, uh, to take one of the, the tasks that are currently going on. Cool. So what, what do you think? Um, like after you first were like, ooh, Linux, and then you had your first experiences with it, like what was the main, what was the number one thing that, what was the number one reason that kept you here? So my story, um, so I liked the Fedora project and I started doing the small presentations uh, in smaller events, like 10 people or less were attending. And in 2017, at the conference that I, made, that I mentioned earlier, I was again in 2017 a volunteer, and I happened to sit in the same table, one of those social events with some Fedorians and Red Hatters. And I was like, I'm a Fedora a contributor. And they were like, you should apply to become an ambassador. And I'm like, okay, maybe. I don't think I'm eligible to do that or ready to do that. So I applied, and then I also applied to attend Flock. It was um, it was in the U.S. I cannot remember where exactly. So I applied for Flock, and surprisingly, I got accepted, and I became an ambassador literally a week before Flock. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and I think even Bex Brian was not an ambassador at that time. That's funny. Okay, I have another. Well, one one thing was I'll probably talk about this in my session on Sunday, but I think it was the friendships that I made that kept me in Fedora, and the reason was because I went to Flock and I got to meet all of them yeah. in person. I mean, honestly, I definitely think is that is the, um, yeah. You can organize events, you can attend event, uh, all sorts of events, but Flock is everyone who is doing Fedora there. Like yeah. you have translators, packagers, designers, uh, people's person, writers, and 
like everyone is there. Yep. And everyone is passionate about the same thing. You know, yeah. that's, that's really cool. Oh, we have another question in the chat. Okay. What is something do you think that the global open source or Fedora world could learn from a local community like Open Labs Toronto or Toronto's open source community? What can we learn from your community that has is chock full of ladies? Yeah. <laughs> so as I said, I'm not the most um, uh, person that I will never come and talk to someone I do not know uh, personally. So if you want to welcome more people on board, I would say, you know, if you see someone who's not much involved, go talk to them. You might think that, you know, I don't want to annoy them, but it might be their way of doing things. So people who are now newcomers and they don't know anyone in a physical or a virtual room, it is quite hard for them, you know, to, to, um, to express themselves. So what I have noticed Apparently. on our bi-weekly meetings for the um, revamp is that we present a task. And if you don't say like, Marie, you want to do this? And you will say yes. But if I say, who wants to do this? No one will step up. <laughs> that is so true. So and true. also, if you don't feel like you want to do something or you're comfortable with something, just say that you, you, you're not comfortable doing it. It is very important as well. Yeah, something we're doing with the ambassador revamp is we're trying to check in with the team, you know, how's everyone feeling about this process? Are we yeah, communicating? Yeah. Are you burnt out? Try not to take on too much work. One person, you know who I'm talking about, Alberto. Yeah. <laughs> um, very cool. Is If there's no more questions, uh, would you like to read a script? to sure. make uh, the boot of uh, like a, a Fedora Women's Day video. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the script. Everyone can watch us do this. Hold on one sec. So, hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. So here's- Are you facing in on the chat? I am gonna put it in the chat if that works for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting it real quick. course YouTube decided to open okay so let's see. Oh, copy and paste is not my friend right now give me one second so Absolutely. it's gonna look like this <clears throat> so during the presentation, I was not paying much of attention to the chat, so I will go through it. So if I miss any question or anything, I I was I looking for questions. Apologize. <laughs> I was looking for questions. People were just saying you were doing a great job. Oh, okay. Um, and then there was that one question that I I answered for you. All right, I gave to you. Oh, so question from Edward was English a problem for you when joining the the community? Uh, I would have to say no, in my case, no. I mean, there might have been cases where I did not understand a word or an expression or anything, but I wouldn't call it a problem. Okay, cool. And I think I'm quite liking this case because I can understand that for many people, it is a problem. All right, so in the chat, I've put here the example, so you'll say, hi, my name is Mariana, I am from Albania, I am a woman, and I speak Albanian. And I, and I want you to do that in Albanian, your language. Oh. And then... <laughs> I thought um, we were doing this in English. <laughs> we're going to do the first part in your, in your native tongue. And then the second part, we are from different countries. That part, say in English. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead. First and last, my name is Mariana. My name is Priya. My name is Femi. The flash ship. We are all from different countries. We speak different languages. We are from different uh, cultures. But Fedora unites us all in different source. Awesome. 
Thanks. I missed it a little bit because I, I, I missed Hey, it. you could do it again. Do you want to do it again? No, I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, you're also a native speaker of Greek? Uh, yes. Yes. So I was born in Albania, but I was raised in Greece. Ooh. So do you want to do a, was, do you want to do a Greek version for us? Um, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you recording this? Okay. Uh, γεια σας. Εγώ είμαι Μαριάννα. Είμαι από Παρλάκ. Μιλάω ελληνικά. We are all from different countries. We speak different languages. We are from different cultures, but Fedora unites us all. That was so good. Oh Yay. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> You're getting so many compliments in the chat. Thank you all so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in my well, language, we say Faliminderi for thank you. Oh, we have a question from Nasir. Did you face any roadblocks or challenges while trying to contribute and find things to work on? Um, so I, as I've said many times through this presentation, 2020 was quite challenging for all of us uh, because one of the main things that Fedorians do is actually interact with each other in physical events. So yeah, uh, I think that was, 2020 was quite some, uh, of a challenge and the revamp process is actually a contribution which I love doing because I can do it from my home. So, yeah, I still feel like I'm giving back to the community, but I have also, you know, I don't have to travel somewhere and be out of town for a week or for four days. So, yeah. Kind of an ideal time to do it. I'm not, not trying to, like, say it, that, like, pandemic should go longer. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> it's just like we're all home. We get this kind of this weird pause from life where everything's going Fully yeah. quickly all at once, but I'm so glad to have you here, Mariana, at Fedora Women's Day mm -hmm. and in Fedora, helping to lead the revamp and everything that you do. So thank you. Thank I'm going to jump off the call and probably go around in the networking area and just chat with people until the top of the hour. Okay. See you all, all right. All thanks again. Well, thank Bye.